Hello friends, this is Pot Show. Fungal attack to our house plants, be it flowering plant, vegetable plant, indoor plant or orchids, are more common than what we actually think. There are many chemical agents to prevent or treat them, but most of us don't have idea we can use equally effective biocontrol mechanism to prevent and treat fungal infection. And I am speaking about Trichoderma viridi. In short, I'll call it TV. I didn't find any video uh, where I can get a comprehensive information regarding TV. That's why I made this video. Whatever information I'll narrate here are all collected from research journal articles and my own experiences about Trichoderma viridi. I have discussed the information in parts as you are seeing on the screen. If you are interested in only specific headings, please go to the description box and follow the link with the heading to play the particular part to save your time. But it is best if you can see the whole video. Now let's start the video. As I was telling, fungal infection is common and we tend to ignore. They start from the time of germination and different fungi affect different plants in different stages causing different symptoms. Discussing all these is beyond the scope of this video. In this video, I am trying to give overall idea about the fungal menace in a home garden. One good thing about managing fungus is that they all can be treated by a single agent. That means you don't have to choose different agents for different fungus. Before starting management, let me tell you some very important fungal attacks we see in our plants. This list is not exhaustive, but these are the important ones. These common fungal infections which you are viewing on the screen are mostly preventable if we start using fungicides from the seed treatment onwards as I have said in this video. If diagnosed early, most of these are preventable too. If you are in gardening, you must have experienced any of these sometimes or other in your gardening experiences. Apart from these, during flowering, fungus may affect buds and we lose many flowers and ultimately the yield. Fungus become very active and attack on the plants at the time of any rapid changes in the weather and in the monsoon and just after. If we are little careful and vigilant, we can avoid most of these problems from our garden and make our plants very happy. In established infection, management become more difficult and at times not possible at all. We can use chemical fungicides which are available in different brands, but I personally prefer organic bicontrol through Trichoderma viridi which itself is a fungus. Trichoderma viridi is not a systemic fungicide. It acts locally. Systemic fungicide means that agent enters the body of the plant to act on the fungus. So in established infection, don't hold back the systemic fungicide carbendazim or you can use carbendazim and mancojeb combination to treat the fungal infection. The best use of Trichoderma viridi is if you add it to the soil before planting any plant. Then it can be used in the soil later to increase the trichoderma viridi count in your soil. Other than that, it can be used for seed treatment and also before planting the saplings to treat them for fungus. And it also can be used as foliar spray. I'll discuss everything in details in the following sections. 
So let's start with seed treatment and transplantation. In the literature, it is written 5 to 10 gram of TB per kg of seed. They need to be soaked before sowing. But for us, the home gardeners, I use a pinch of TV in a cup of water and soak the seeds for 10 to 15 minutes before sowing. I also soak the roots of the seedlings before transplanting them in the same solution. Damping of our seedlings and wilting is very rare in my series. Next very important is adding Trichoderma viridi in soil. Let us know how it helps the soil. First, they help uptake of nutrients even if your soil is free from any pathogens. How? They secrete organic acids and this acid in the soil stabilizes phosphates and other mineral ions and make them usable for the plants. In this way, plants' general health and yield improves. Second, they improve the defense mechanisms in the plant by boosting the immune system in the plant and plants can fight any pathogen effectively. Third, Trichoderma uses various mechanisms to neutralize other fungus and they also have the ability to protect themselves by a chemical chitinase they produce. They also produce antibiotic-like chemicals which along with chitinase very toxic to other fungus. These chemicals are also volatile, means they travel in the air to kill the fungus. Fourth, the trichodermers are very clever. They take nutrient required for the fungus from the soil much faster than any other fungi and also produce chemicals that binds with these nutrients so that these are unavailable to other fungi. And one very important property of TV is that they have resistance towards commonly used pesticides. Still, it is better to avoid chemical pesticides, particularly fungicide, before and after trichoderma viridi application, at least for 48 hours on each side. But in my experience, you will not need any chemical fungicide at all. Next, how to use Trichoderma viridi in soil. I'll tell how I apply. First, when preparing soil, I mix about 2 tablespoonful of Trichoderma viridi of each 10 to 12 inch pot in the soil. Second, for application to the container with plants, I mix 6 to 10 gram of TV in 1 liter of water and apply about 100 milliliter per 10 to 12 inch pot. Other than these two applications, the important application I use in foliar spray. I apply TV as foliar spray once in a month and also apply when weather changes rapidly and when the plant blooms. This prevents falling of flowers and I used to get much better yield from my fruits and vegetable plants. Fungal infection to my plants are bare minimum. For foliar application, I use the same con concentration that is 8 to 10 gram of TV in 1 liter of water and spray them as mist to all the plants. That include indoor and orchids also. For indoor and orchids, uh, the negative point is Trichoderma viridi produces a white coat on the surface of the leaves. After 48 hours, I just wipe the leaves with damp cloth and these stains go off easily. Now lastly, there are many questions. Can Trichoderma viridi be multiplied? I saw some videos in YouTube where they have mentioned that it can be multiplied. Then I searched different journals and the answer I found is yes. But it needs proper temperature and moisture to multiply. So if we mix Trichoderma viridi with moist vermicompost or cow dung compost, they will multiply and this compost we can apply to the soil by the methods I stated earlier. I didn't do any uh, 
confirmatory test for this so that i cannot conclude how efficient they will be but i found this in research papers that this can be done hope i could give you uh, some information of trichoderma viridi how you can use it and what are the pros and cons if you like the video please press the like button share it with your friends who need it and don't forget to subscribe the channel to get more such videos thank you very much for viewing the video